There we go. It's here. It's here to tell you that if you turn away from your sins. I only have 20 minutes to catch the train, so I gotta hurry up right now. Welcome to another video. My name is Kyle Ashland. We're gonna do another story time here on my first time doing Xanax. All right, so the reason why in the beginning of the video I didn't vlog that much is because in New York is still like 20 degrees outside and it's like almost the end of March. Well, it's pretty much end of March right now, but it was still fun. I still got to enjoy and do a couple things. Got to go to a quick shop, to a med shop. So let's get right into the story. This story happened in sophomore year of high school. This first high school I went to was in like a campus where it had three schools in there. Two of the schools were middle schools and then one school was high school, the one I went to obviously. And this school was like very big and very huge with like six floors on top, a population of like only like 1200 students which is not that much for new york so everybody in the school kind of really like knew each other like you know really well damn near kind of like like close neighbors oh so i randomly asked my math teacher to go use the bathroom and i see an old homie of mine from ill school and he was like yo bro what's going on we sleep slap up and then next thing you know I see him pull out a little tin foil and he's like, yo, like, you know, like, he's acting a little bit weird, first of all, you know, so I knew he was on something and I'm like, yo, are you all right? He's like, nah, bro, I'm really, I'm really, really high, you know? But I, at the time, I didn't know, like, what truck he was on. So I just asked him, yo, what is that? And then he, he opened the tin foil and I see it and there are two little white pills right there. And he's saying like, oh, um, just take this little half of Xan. So I take this little half and then he pulls up another half and he's like, yo, like, let's pop it together. Well, at first I kind of resisted, you know, like I kind of really resisted. I'm like, nah, not really. You know, like I didn't really want to, like, I don't know what it is. You know, I don't know how it is. So like, I just kept denying it and denying it. But what really got me into trying it is when he gave it to me for free. He's like, oh, you don't have to pay for it. I'm like, oh, all right, bet. Let me know what, why not try something new for the first time for free. So we were like, one, two, three, then popped it. It tasted like ass. The NX tastes like ass. So, you know, I was like, oh, so, you know, but, you know, I swallowed it immediately. I didn't want to taste it. We were talking for a little bit for a few minutes after that, and then I was walking to class, and, you know, I, I don't feel anything yet. You know, I'm not really, like, nervous or anything. And I go to class, and next thing you know, like, I, I don't really, I still don't feel anything, right? A few minutes goes by, and then next thing you know, I sat down on my desk, as we were writing notes and then everybody was like whoa like you know well not looking at me but like everybody was just you know chatting really loudly and stuff you know i'm like the only very quiet kid in the classroom you know what i mean because i'm like on something you know for the first time the first thing i noticed is that i could not write down any notes you know like we, i was just sitting there like i couldn't move my fingers really well you know, but nothing, like nothing was framey or anything. I just felt very sluggish. Like I felt like a zombie for like the first time. And then I, I was just sitting there, I couldn't move my fingers as much, no matter how hard I try, you know. And, but, you know, I'm, just, I'm still looking around and just chilling. So I'm like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the class and I'll be all right, you know? So after that, you know, I just chilled for the rest of the classroom. You know, a couple people looked at me weird you know and it's like all right whatever so for the rest of the day i wrote it out it was only like a couple more periods after that until i got all the way to the bus you know that's when i became very like tired it's like you know the end of the xanax high is when you start to feel very very tired or you want to black out you know uh that's how i felt so, so after a while when we i got on the bus 
I just, you know, just felt super sleepy. You know, I just passed out. And then once we got to my house, they had to wake me up a couple times. And then I went to straight to the door. And then I went straight to the living room couch. I didn't go straight to my room. I just went straight to the nearest soft vision cushion couch to where I can just knock out on. And I remember I just literally just laid there and just passed out. And then after a while, my mom had to wake me up for after a few hours because she got home from work. She was like, wake up, what the hell are you doing sleeping on that couch, blah, blah, blah. You know, so I'm like, holy shoot, I'm not like, oh, sorry, I'm just very tired from school or something, blah, 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 you know, and I just went upstairs and then fell asleep again and for the rest of the night and then woke up that, you know, the next day, I'm like, all right, shoot, like, I really did Xanax, like, damn, that was Shoot, that was the first time I'm like, damn, I really did drugs the first time. I honestly don't really regret it. You know, you learn something new in life. You know, I always was like, I was just very curious. I know how Xanax is like. I did it again the second time. That's for another video. And the second time was like very, very bad. But, you know, if you're on TikTok, if you follow me on TikTok, you should know about it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So I'll see you. Hope you guys enjoyed like and if you like this video and have a great day